The Moon is the new 89.1 WGZS Cloquet. Radio service from the Fond du Lac Band of Lake Superior Chippewa. gender-based crimes in particular, we blame the victim. We use language that implies that they're in that situation solely because they made bad choices or made a few mistakes along the line. And that's really not the case when we're dealing with the population here in Duluth. The history of colonization has left a legacy of intergenerational trauma, broken homes, the things that the boarding schools have done to the social and family support networks that all of us depend on to be safe in our communities have been devastated. And so when you think about this issue, don't think about the bad choices that the vulnerable people who are prey have made. Think about the bad choices that have been made by those people who have power, those people who have resources, those people who at the end of the day are making money off the human suffering going on here in Duluth. And let's focus our efforts on them. Let's hold them accountable. Let's get their faces in the newspaper and on the TV and let's put them in jail, not the victims. The mayor had proclaimed January sex trafficking month. So let's work all year together so the focus isn't always so much on the victims and like saying on to the John that they as they call them. So next January, we have a whole different rally. Maybe we'll meet right back here, January 28th, and have a whole different reality going on. We need more resources in our community. Uh, a lot of the girls don't want to say anything because we, we can't protect them right now. We don't know, we don't have the resources. So next year, this time, we have a whole different story that we're talking about to protect our girls. I feel it's, it's really important, too, to, f to point out that also, it's disproportionate rates. It's the Anishinaabek women that are out here standing for these women are standing because it affects the Anishinaabek women at a disproportionate rate than it does other other people of color and or other groups. So I think it's important to point that out as well, that a lot of these w women that are being human trafficked are Anishinaabek women. So the vulnerabilities that certain people possess is part of what you're seeing here too. This is This is the opportunity for a people who don't have a voice to say, hey, wait a minute, we have a voice, and this is the way that you see this. This is an old way to gather and, and let that voice be heard. And it's important to realize that the place that it's in here, too, how important this place has been to the Anishinaabek people of this area. Very symbolic in that sense. <laughs>
young girls growing up, and I'm a female myself in the Native American community, and this should be our top priority, because these are our children and vulnerable young women, and they're the highest percentage of people that are being trafficked are Native American women. And so, um, my heart is in this, and I'm going to research more. Um, I know there's two American Indian um, organizations that have done reports on it and research, and I'm going to spend time reading those documents just so I know for myself. So this is like a new commitment for you? Yes. yes. This is something that I'm going to get involved in more. So I don't know exactly how I'll be able to help, but I'm going to take time and commit myself to that. You know, but where in the news do you hear this? Where in the news do you hear that, you know, all these people are getting sold and raped and murdered and stuff was sexually abused and stuff like that, you know? And, but what I, what I had found on the internet, you know, they have a lot of news stuff about white women being sold. You know, I see nowhere in the news about blacks or natives or Asians or anybody else besides the white, the white people. These women are made to sell their bodies. These pimps or the Johns, you know, they they beat them and make them feel worthless and say, I'm the only one that, you know, I'm the only one that gives you power. I'm the only one that does this for you. You know, go make me my money. You know, you don't make your money, he'll slap you up. You know. And that's why.